Hello. Hello, everybody. We should be live. Um, let us know if you're here. Let us know um, what you're currently reading. Because we yes. usually start with. Yeah. And I'm really mad I didn't get that sweatshirt, Christy. Now I got one, and I was like, I just oh, get this two one? Shirts. Yeah, I got the other one that you have it with is, the book. I have that one. Yeah, yeah. The designs were so cute. I loved them. I... Hello, we're here. I was having a little bit of technical <laughs> difficulty, so I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Okay, listen, I was 50% of the way through this morning and I was like, I have so much time. It's all good. And then the ending got, I was so distracted. I did not love the ending of this book. So I was like paying attention to other things. But I just finished like 10 minutes before the live show. I saw a 10% left after my last live show. So I read through that. But yeah, I love the cover of this book though. Same. It's so pretty. Yes. All the pink. Yes. And matching us. Hello, everybody. Oh, yeah. I know. I'm like, we're both in pink, too. <laughs> um, but what are you currently reading? Um, oh, I'm currently reading a Samantha Young novella, which is, like, part of the Highland series, but it's a Christmas one. But, like, mm -hmm. I'm reading that before the next one comes out soon because I had just finished my, like, Crescent City rereads. So I'm, like, just kind of fitting in novellas until then. Until gotcha. the new one. I you just finished book two. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was doing like February arcs to get those out of the way, like before Crescent City 3 comes. <laughs> Did you? Well, first I'll answer this. She cannot make yes. it. She's got a lot of stuff going on and just didn't have reliable internet right now. So she is not joining today. Uh, she did rate it three stars, though, in case you're wondering. But we'll, we'll start mm -hmm. chatting about that. Um, did you not sign up for the arc for Samantha Young? No, I hadn't. I missed it, I guess. And so, like, I signed up for the fourth one. <laughs> Okay. The other day. I didn't know if it was you didn't if you didn't sign up or you just didn't yeah, get it. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> not I getting a lot of me. <laughs> oh, interesting. Oh, okay. I was wondering when we met them if they already had a book. So, yeah. Um, but I literally just finished this ten minutes ago. But I also I'm reading the Sweet Spot by Rebecca Jenshack. It's her golf romance i'm listening to that audio it's pretty good so far so he's a golf coach and she's a golfer at the university oh, so nice yeah. yeah is that a standalone yeah i think it like is in the same world as her other ones i'm pretty sure one of the colleges was mentioned and i'm like i think that's a rebecca oh, okay. college, not like a normal <laughs> real college right right <laughs> it's technically a standalone yeah it just has a cute like illustrated cover now so um, but yeah. most of hers are on Hoopla, so I'm listening to that. Mm -hmm. Hoopla. Yeah. Um, yeah, rereading. I do you have you read this author? You have, right? I have, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you like her books? I read The Bedouins. Yeah, I do. I feel like they're definitely slower and more like, I don't know how to describe it. I guess kind of like Julie Garwood's, like more comfy, like family kind of centric books. Yeah, I have yeah. to be in the mood for them, but I do yeah. love her books when I like them <laughs> yeah I haven't like loved love anything by her because they're very like slow yeah I have to be in the mood for it I'm gonna have to look up read guardian angel now that we know these characters okay. yeah oh was that the new one Justin I like the covers of these me too <laughs> Lexi you are flying through that series around the glass I have I have you start two yet? No, I'm gonna start it tonight. Because oh, I had my book. Yeah, they're so floppy. And my, did you pre-order uh, House of Flame and Shadow? I did from Walmart. Which edition? Did your ship yet? So, like, with all that chaos of like the label printed, but like it hasn't moved at all, and so. Yeah like another friend that happened to him. So she got on like the online, like Walmart chat customer service. And they said like, yeah, those are lost. Like, so she, they had to cancel her order and reorder another one. Okay. So I saw that on TikTok and I was like, what, how could they lose all of those orders though? She so said when she was talking to the customer service, per, she said the customer service person was like, yeah, we were like overwhelmed. And I'm like, you're Walmart though. Really? <laughs> like, haven't you been in the business for how many years? They went yeah. through iron flame like four months ago. Yeah, so I don't know what happened there. Did you get on chat and ask for a refund? 
No. So I ended up ordering another one because I'm like, if two come, like, that's fine. I'll like return one or give it to somebody who needs it. Like, I just want to make sure I get a copy. Because <laughs> mine hasn't one. moved like at all. The first one that printed off. No, mine was printed Tuesday and it said it was getting here Thursday. But then I saw someone who got it from Walmart yesterday. Like delivered. I saw that too. Yeah. I saw that too. But they said majority of them like are literally lost. Just lost? Where did they put them? I guess, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> they printed labels for all of them. It just lost. The oh FedEx people wanted to keep them, I guess. I don't know. But like when I saw it happen at multiple locations. Like mine was in South Carolina slash Georgia. It said different things. But then other people's yep. were like in Utah and then somewhere in Chicago. So how did that happen at all yeah. of their locations? I think it is the South Carolina, Georgia ones are the problem. Okay. Because people yeah. were saying they had the other ones that also were not moving. Like oh, then I don't know. <sighs> wow. So do I order another one? <gasps> Come on, you got yours already? Oh, where'd you order from? I might... I don't know yet if I want to try to go to my Barnes and Noble at midnight because they're having a midnight party and like just show up at midnight to get it. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that or go to Target when they open. But then I'm like, Target sometimes doesn't put their books out when they open mm-hmm. on Tuesdays. Because so. are you going to read the physical? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. What's on your TBR? Oh, she okay. is okay oh, the but there sister. was like no, okay there was no pirating in this book which made me sad yeah. i mean they were on board a ship but yeah <laughs> but there's like they never they never he was never a pirate in this book i know i know so did he like retire his piracy before this book started it seemed like it yeah i don't know oh a very bold lexi <laughs> I already saw that. Kamal, let us know. Oh, you got yours? Okay. This yeah. is annoying, though. That okay. I'm like, maybe mine is moving and it just hasn't updated it yet. Mm-hmm. Yours is on the way? Oh, a Target. Okay. Read it. Read Chris and Seti. It's like my favorite. Well, actually, it's my second favorite Sarah J. Mass series. Throne of Glass is my it. least favorite. It just reads young. Yeah. And I read it last, so I don't think that helped. Okay, so let us know. We'll go ahead and jump into this. Let us know yeah, yeah. what your um, rating is of this book. Um, I was excited for a pirate romance, and I always get mad when things are marketed as pirates and nothing happens. Like even the pirate attack that happened on them, she was below the whole time until like the whole tying them up and bringing them downstairs thing. I was like, we didn't even get to see a pirate battle. Like. <laughs> Come on, but I did really like the heroine, so um, it was it was funny. Like you said, it was like cozy historical. Like it's just like fun. It's cute and they're yeah, adorable. yeah, yeah. So what'd you give it? I don't know. I'm between. I think a four, <laughs> but like the mm-hmm. last like twenty percent, I was bored out of my mind. I was like, why is it taking so long to get to the end? Yeah. So yeah, I was probably three point yeah. five round up to four. But it wasn't bad. It was just like hmm, kind of like to find out the heart. It was like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. It was nice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was fun. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sometimes it's not the vibe. I remember you said that, Cheryl, about the heroin. Oh, okay. Isn't this is this the spy series? Yeah, her crown spies. Yes. Because the first book is The Lion's Lady. Okay. Also, for being written... I'll go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. No, you can go ahead. I was going to change the subject. (laughs) Oh, I was going to say, which I was actually worried about going into this one because I hated The Lion's Lady. Like, I gave it two stars, which is the first book in the series that you guys picked during, like, Historical Romance Readathon a few times back. It was, like, the group read. And I didn't like that one. So I was like worried. So I had like low expectations for this one, but I like loved this book. It was a lot of fun. So sorry, what were you saying? Okay, so from the beginning, I loved the fact that 
um we didn't know how old she was and i remember at the end of the prologue i was like oh, she's only four because at first like, oh, she's fighting him but i was like okay so like a, an 18 19 year old could like bite their father if they're being like dragged away whatever and then right, it's like right. oh then he picked her up and she was like nuzzling his neck i was like this is bizarre and then yeah. it was like she's four i was like this is such a good prologue like the way she started this book my jaw dropped when that happened i was like wait what <laughs> Because they kept talking about her holding her blanket and stuff. And I'm like, well, like, maybe she's just, like, naive and, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Aww. wait. So, like, you loved it. Oh. Okay, yeah. Okay. But then we had two stars. It just, I'm intrigued to see why people, like, did you think it was just too silly? Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. I think, like, the antics were fun. I just wanted a little bit more action for, it, like, being on a ship and him being a pirate because he didn't feel dangerous at all. The crew was hilarious. I liked them. It was mm -hmm. funny. Though. The ant was fun and how the ant fell in love. I liked that. Well, and that but the I ant, was... like, knew who he was the whole time and was just, like, waiting for her to find out. Yeah. Like, about him, his, like, pirate alter ego. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I was invested in the beginning like what Justin said, like how mm -hmm, he mm -hmm. came to like take her, but she was already like sneaking out. And then yeah. she's like, my husband's going to come for you. And he's like, oh, is he? <laughs> and that was so yeah. funny. And how she just like really wanted her husband. And I'm like, this is so cute. I don't know. I like She was so loyal for like never having met him or like been around him. Yeah. She was like, no, my husband will like save me. He'll do all this. Yeah. Yeah. This was so funny. Well, like things that she did, not even on, she, like she was trying so hard. So she's like, I want to cook for them. I'm going to get rid of my parasols. It ends up catching the boat on fire. Like, I, it was fun. I love but, that like, part right was, before. Go ahead. Oh, because he was literally like, what worse could happen? Like, nothing could go wrong. And he's like, and then she set the, the ship on fire. Because <laughs> it wasn't like she was like, ditzy though like she was genuinely trying to help and even like with the food mm -hmm. poisoning it wasn't even her fault like they didn't tell her the meat was bad and so she used yeah. it so it's not like she was like naive and dumb she like mm -hmm. still had age and really trying I, yes yeah i love yeah i loved how she always called the the like crew her staff you know and he's like oh my god <laughs> yeah. it was actually giving me like Wendy like from Peter Pan like if Wendy was on board with all like the crew and stuff like Hook and his crew <laughs> yeah. and how she's just trying to take care of all of them yeah yeah and then they were yeah. wearing garlic because they were like no you're cursed yeah <laughs> getting so mad <laughs> yeah I mean like if I compare this to like the epicness of her other romances I don't think it stands up to like the bride or um the secret secret even ransom like those are just so good but this was fun um mm -hmm. yeah and the romance like what i love about her romance is that they are like without a doubt consent romances and like even right. he made sure like she liked when they had sex every single time yeah and yeah. so i appreciate that like and then they just had like a really cute romance from the start because then she's like well because mm -hmm. then he like snuggled her and then she gets mad if he leaves and i'm just like you guys are so cute <laughs> yeah i love how she was like where's the aftercare like why are you just leaving yeah. me like is this what you do with the women you're with <laughs> yeah. yeah and then he's like well no you uh, my entire crew is sick right now so i can't just like sit in bed and cuddle like i gotta right. go run a shape <laughs> right so funny yeah it was cute. I mean, so I feel like I want to give this a four, but I just like feel like when I was getting to the end and trying to finish this book, I'm just like, I liked when she like met her sister, but then there was still like tw his sister. And then there was still like 20% <laughs> left. I was like, this is being really dragged out at this point. Yeah. So. Cause is it over 400 pages? Yeah. No, maybe just under. No, it's 370. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It did feel long at the end yeah but i liked it like i think i'm gonna give it four but it's actually like four and a half stars for me mm -hmm. yeah it was like it was fun to read the whole time i never felt like it was hard right. to read i never felt like i was like <laughs> being dragged through it until the end right um, yeah because i do Which i love end? go ahead no go ahead 
I was going to change the subject from the end. So go ahead. Me too. (laughs) Okay. I was going to talk about how I love romances where they're forced to marry because of feuding families. I feel like that's really fun because they already have like some kind of animosity. And then we get that again, like at the end, but like really her family is like the problem. So that's what I was going to talk about. Yeah. That it was yeah. giving me the vibes of um, Kate Bateman's, the Ruthless Rivals That's, books, yeah. with the feuding exactly families and fighting over the land and the king making yeah. them have an arranged marriage, like contract. Yeah, it totally reminded me of that series. Yeah, but I do get excited anytime I see George because I'm like, it's George, King George from. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah, Queen Charlotte. <laughs> Queen Charlotte. Yeah, but I'm like, okay, but I know he was really not a good person in real life, but like, I can't help think of the Queen, the King George from the show, and I'm like, Listen, right, right. Tries, okay. <laughs> tries. <laughs> yeah. Um, we'll see you later. Bye. Is there a book after this? Mm. There is. Yeah, there's four in the series. Okay. I did like how the mom was on her side. Mm-hmm. Um, at the end, like she really helped her. Um, because her her dad and her sister were horrible people. Okay, hold on. Point there. She wants me now. So we don't find out about her oh, mom. The I weakest guess. of the series. Okay. Oh, it has such a pretty cover, though. <laughs> Wait, did I miss this? What is? What is it? Well, I'm pretty sure it's because somebody was like the prince regent in his place because of King George's situation. Yeah. Oh, and so that's because why they call it Regency, because of the Prince Regent? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so it was only, like, a short amount of time, but, like, so many historicals are set in that time. That's true, because isn't it, like, how long was the Regency period? I feel like it was less than 20 years, I want to say, maybe. Oh, because they are normally, like, the Victorian era was when Queen Victoria... Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was nine okay. years. Nine yeah. years? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it described in a couple different historical sites. I'd heard it before, too. I okay. don't even actually remember them saying that in this book. Yeah. Yeah, it was 1811 Why? to 1820. Why is everything in 1811, 1820? <laughs> <laughs> I know all the historicals, like millions published during that set during that right. time frame. Why? Yeah. Well, I guess it's just like an interesting part of history, you know? And like I guess. so much was happening, things were changing yeah. like there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, this is yeah. true too. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, because, like, there's a lot of stuff that goes on during right. history. So. Right. Interesting. When were Jane Austen's books? Well, they were, like, contemporary for her time, which, what was that, 18, was that? 18, late 18 something? Um, She like. died in 1817, so. Oh, okay, okay. Early 18s, then, I mean. Yeah. So she would have been during the height of the Regency era, too. 1813. Yeah. So, I mean, like, yeah. yes, hers were contemporary, not historical romances. We see mm-hmm. them as historical romances now. But, right. Um, yeah. So 1811, 1813 was Pride and Prejudice. Eight, maybe it just, like, feels like a very romantic time. I know. <laughs> um, yeah. But I, it's interesting then because, like, talking about King George and, like, the things that he is, like, but then everyone knows that he wasn't really of sound mind. So. Right. Right. Yeah. Interesting. But it is interesting too, that like they can force, I wondered how often they like forced children to marry when I was reading that. I was like, she's literally four being betrothed. And at least like, it could have been bad. Cause he was what? 14. Yeah. He was 14. Yeah. Okay. And they, then they flash forward until mm-hmm. she was 18. So I was like, okay, at least, oh, but like she feels older than 18 in this book. I, in my head, I always imagine them like early 20s and not yeah. teens. <laughs> I usually age, age them up. 
<laughs> yeah, in my mind. I was like, when I'm picturing them, she's not an 18-year-old. She's like 24. <laughs> but um, he's then 28. And mm-hmm. so I like it when they keep them. Because after reading that, um, what was it? the other This other Eden, when he was like in his 40s oh. and she was a teenager, I was like, I don't want to read this. Like, keep the man right, right. young, please. Like, right. no matter what was realistic for the time period. Yeah, I was glad he, like, she was the child bride, but he was also a child as well. Like, early teenager, but a child. Yeah. But they do a lot. I feel like in Defy Not, yeah, it was also in Defy Not the Heart. Is that what it was called? Defy Defy the Heart? Defy Mm -hmm. the Heart? Joanna Lindsay? Yeah. Um, They do mention a lot how the men were forced to grow up so fast, though. Because remember, he had a kid at, like, 14 in that one? Yeah, 15, yeah. And in this one, he was, like, basically being treated as an adult. Like, he was getting betrothed sure. and like not all this yeah yeah all these responsibilities rag gift i think she means the gift oh okay the book. okay yeah. i didn't know if i was missing something <laughs> that was like a gift <laughs> um yeah. yeah that's yeah. true same lexi yeah but that like already showed you how horrible her father was so yeah. Mm-hmm. But I liked how she yeah. stood up to people from the start, though. Like when she had to confront her uncle for the ring, and like, oh my God, it was hilarious how she was on her way from her house to her uncle's house. And she's like, it's fine. Nobody's going to attack me. And then he was like picking <laughs> off all these guys, and she's yeah. walking. And she's like, I was fine. And nobody came after me. I was like, yeah, because he, he knocked out like three people. <laughs> Yeah, oh. she was like, "This is easy, like sneaking away in the night. Nobody's bothering us." And he's just like, "Yeah, taking him out behind her, and she doesn't even know." <laughs> right? It was yeah. funny. It was just like fun, like that from the start, and I liked that a lot. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't. I don't think it was too over the top. No. Yeah. <laughs> they were not trying to go to America. <laughs> no. It was so funny. But like I said, mm-hmm. like it's not like a like she wasn't dumb about it. Like she just like honestly didn't know. Yeah. So it wasn't like she was purposely putting herself in a dangerous situation that like got her in trouble. Mm-hmm. Appreciated. But and she fell yeah. in love very quickly with him. I was surprised by how fast she said, I love you. Yeah. I mean, she was already like into him being her husband anyway. So I feel like she was just like ready for it to be like that. <laughs> very true it was cute Mm -hmm. yeah I had fun with it like it's not five stars but it was a four and a half for me yeah I had more fun than I didn't yeah that's fair I think I would do four I did do the ebook from the library so I'm happy me too her books are on yeah available that way did anybody do the audio for this one I think there was one right on audible or was there not oh there might be there might be yeah I think I had looked, but. Yeah, there is an audio. Okay. Um, I don't know if I've listened to it. I still not have a lot. Yeah. Okay. There you go. My library, just, I don't think has any of her audio books. Mm, yeah, mine Which didn't I have the audio. But they had a, yeah, they have a lot of her eBooks. Yeah. And the audio came out in 2013. So it's not like it's a new audio book and it's not. Yeah. Audible exclusive. Right. What the heck? Oh, was the audio good, Monica? It must be if you still loved it, I guess. Durden. Durden? I don't know that narrator. <laughs> she narrated has track. a couple of her audios, but it's like the wedding and come the spring, whatever that is. Hmm. that's good at least it wasn't terrible and I feel like this had a good amount of characters that I wasn't too confused who was who like I have been (laughs) in past (laughs) months where I'm like okay there are way too many people being talked about right now like at the end of Define Not the Heart where I was like I don't know what is happening right all of his half siblings and yeah yeah (laughs) Yeah. No, this one, I think it's because it was so confined to the ship, too. And we only got to mm-hmm. meet, like, four people on the ship. We didn't really see, like, a ton, a ton of the crew. 
Yeah. Because I'm assuming he had a lot of crew. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I did like the part where she shot that guy's nose off. <laughs> <laughs> and it was an accident. It was so funny. Yeah. She just got into like some hilarious situations for herself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, her Western series. Okay. I thought it was one of her either Western or contemporaries. Uh, I didn't know she had Westerns. Did I know she has Westerns? I don't think I've read any. I don't know. I don't think I've read any either. But I just can't either. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was going to say, I've only done her medieval or her like spy ones or pirate ones, like all these historicals. Yeah. Um, I can't imagine how much research they had to do when they were writing these. Because, like, today, I would just be like, what year did they invent blah, blah, yeah. blah? And I just, like, figure it out. But, like, I don't know how Pre-internet, often. Pre-internet, yeah. Yeah, these, because I was starting, what did I look up? I looked up something, and it was like, thank you to the blah, blah, blah for all of your research on blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, okay. So, no, it wasn't this one. And I know that Beverly Jenkins puts a lot at the end of her books, like mm-hmm. everything that she researched and who helped her. So, and I mean, like this one didn't feel like super, I don't think it really was at all <laughs> historical heavy. No, except for no. With the King George stuff, but right. Um, I wonder yeah. how much research they would end up doing. I know. And then just like keep it on hand because you'd have to like refer back to it again. <laughs> right. Or if many of them were just like, Meh, like, it is what it is. Oh, and I'm how accurate oh I am. no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Who's going to fact check us? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, her father was horrible. <laughs> this part was so funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know. That makes sense. would just take so much time because you couldn't just like yeah. look up what you needed. You had to like intensely research everything before writing so that's just like but it's interesting a lot of them were librarians because like beverly jenkins too so maybe like on shift they just go like pull materials for themselves (laughs) like they're already there yeah um does anybody know if the second book has more action than if the sister was the pirate so is he really not a pirate at all like was his sister always the pirate Oh. Yeah, did he ever have any, like, did he do any piracy when he was the pagan guy? Because he never guy? did in this book, and they never talked about it. No. I mean, it was, they, yeah. I mean, it was a pirate ship, but. Mm-hmm. I feel I mean, like that's kind of common for older historicals. Yeah. I don't think they normally have an epilogue, do they? I don't think so. Hmm. Librarians, I want to read a romance. <laughs> they just write Yep. It. So he took over being the pirate after her? Mm, okay. So he did do piracy then. Okay. Get money. Okay. Ooh, I'm glad you loved mm-hmm. it. We just didn't see any of it. We saw other pirates yeah. attack them. Well, but I don't think he was a privateer. Was he working for the government? Uh, I don't think so. I don't remember. They didn't really go into his pirating at all. Yeah. I was going to say, I just read one recently where, like, the back of one where it was talking about a privateer, but it wasn't this book. It's one of our, like, upcoming books. Is it our next one? Because there's a pirate in this one. Uh, the one, uh, maybe this one or the one after? I yeah, think it's the one after this. this one's privateer. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Isn't this our next one? Yeah, it's this one. Okay, I double checked so I would not be wrong <laughs> about another thing. <laughs> I was filming my February TBR and I talked all about the next book for March. And I was like, oh, oh my God, this is. And I looked at it and I was like, this is not the book. What am I doing? <laughs> so I was like, scrap that, start over. <laughs> what is our next one after this? The Phoebe Con one with the um, Tempt Me with Kisses, like the blue and the orange, like piratey one too. Oh my god, we're reading so yeah. many pirate romances. But like, I, know. I love the pirating on page. I'm like, show me your sword fights. Because like, the one that we read, was it the, it wasn't the pirate and the pagan, was it? No, oh, the pirate. Like the Graham? Yeah. Yes. 
yeah that one was fun that was so good and he was yeah. for sure a pirate and like she knew yes. it oh that was so yeah good. yeah yeah Mm -hmm. okay <laughs> yeah that was very vague though like all of that stuff yeah oh, okay well his dad knew right but then but he didn't yeah didn't want to and that's what got him killed okay. right no, right no, that, like is, was there really like a secret file vault in the <laughs> monarchy? Home office. <laughs> they like protected from people. I feel like there was. There was so much going on. Like back then they had all these like secret branches. And like yeah. I feel like there's so much like, yeah, that they have labeled away that we don't even know about. Like that I they're up to. Things that they were doing that they don't want people to find out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay makes sense okay interesting i never finished lines lady i went and looked and I never finished you wasn't it i swear it was for your guys's historical I romance was, that was one that i didn't finish <laughs> oh, okay, okay we are hopefully going to bring that back in march so oh, i'm so excited because there wasn't one last year at all was there around no because like none of us were i mean i think Le lace lacy Lisa. The amount of times I yeah. mess up their names because they both start with an L is so annoying. <laughs> Lisa was still reading a lot of historicals, but I know Lacey and I weren't yeah. as much. But I think we're yeah, I saw Lisa said she didn't read any like last year yeah. in one of her videos. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So, oh, did you see Scarlett Peckham's new cover? Oh. Yes. I love it. Oh, okay. Okay. Very excited. March, like early March, I think. I have to talk to to Lisa because she was, she's busy February. Yeah. Okay. Oh, exciting. then we we'll have a book. Should our group book be old or new? I feel like don't you guys always do old? Um, or do you switch it up? I think we switch. No, it's it up. been switched up. I guess. Yeah. But that's gonna be exciting. I know. I feel like a lot of us didn't read a lot of historicals last year. Not compared to previous years, for sure. I'm nervous because I was so excited for The Portrait of the Duchess. And I never yeah. read it because I already hated it. <laughs> so, yeah. I still haven't yeah. Read <laughs> but I put yeah. Lorraine Heath's second one on my TBR because I know her I new one. I saw that. Yeah. And the new one is so good, too. Oh, my God. I loved it. Did you finish it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's definitely slower, but I loved the characters. Yeah. The second one's still like top tier, but three was five stars for me too. Oh, good. Okay. That makes me happy. Oh, I love that. Yay. I mean, 2020, 2021, and 2020. Mm -hmm. That's like all oh, I'm reading. But same. Bridgerton's supposed to come out back too. So maybe. Did you yeah. order those special editions for Bridgerton? Which one? The new ones that they're coming out with? Oh, that Julia Quinn shared the other day? Yeah. No, I didn't know you could order them yet. I think Sorry. they're up for pre-order because she said that people could do them. Um, oh. Barnes Noble pre-order sale. I didn't, but. Oh, I didn't even notice that part. No, I didn't pre-order them. But it's also like two books per book. Oh, they're bind-ups? Yes. So there's only four. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Fun. Tori read our book this month. She did? She yeah, she read it. Wait, what? <laughs> What'd you think of it, Tori? <laughs> I know, Justin, I don't think you liked I mean, yeah, I don't think you liked it. And that also scared me. I didn't like it. Like, it was three stars. It was just, it was okay. The Raycast was so good. It was, yeah. I do want to read um, more of Lisa Claypus's like, old, old stuff. Yeah, I don't have very many of hers. Tori, I thought you told me you did. <laughs> I know she had it in a vlog that she could read it, but she didn't read it for the historical vlog we all did. What did you tell me you read? You said it was this one. <laughs> I'm. I swear you said you gave it four stars. You must have been talking about a different book, and I read it too fast. <laughs> oh, 
she read the bride Allie Hazelwood okay. and in my mind that was oh like, okay I was like I was oh the bride by Julie Garland I was like you literally told me you gave it four stars what are you talking about you didn't read it was this a pre like early January talk when you were forgetting other no. things too no this was yesterday <laughs> okay <laughs> okay in my mind you were talking about Julie Garwood so I literally was like oh my god you gave it four stars <laughs> Julie Garwood with vampires and werewolves. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, The Bride is a Julie Garwood book. So that is. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Oh my God. Too funny. Excuse me. That's just. Yeah. <laughs> so Tori did not read it. Please ignore me. <laughs> did not mean to call her out. <laughs> I love that, Linda. Yes. Um, Have any of you read her? Um her other pen name no she just does julie garwood jane and Krantz is amanda, mm -hmm. Quick. amanda Quick. Stuff now and do you like it julie garwood stuff thank you yeah um her romantic suspense stuff is she still writing i don't even know did she didn't pass away I... did she yeah she did yeah okay that's my sister who passed away yeah i don't remember i don't want to be wrong <laughs> i don't want to okay, like yeah, wrong police say <laughs> I know Joanna Lindsay did. I must. Mm. Yeah, Julie Garwood did what last fall? I want to say that was the recent one. Maybe fall. It was last year, June twenty twenty three. So yes, last year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I know that she. <laughs> I do want to read the <laughs> Ellie Hazel with the Bride, but in my mind, it was nice. this one. Um, she was still writing romantic suspense. Really, I, I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She wasn't that old, though. She uh, was born in 44. So 80. Yeah, I feel like that's young. Because I mean, my grandma was born in 35, and she's her birthday is next week. So, Oh, wow. That's awesome. Well, my grandpa was born in 25. He's old. <laughs> what? So he's almost 100 years old? He Well, he was born in December, so he's 98. Yeah. I've got wow. older parents, yeah. So then when I hear people passing me like 80, I'm like, oh my God, that's so young. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you read all of her stuff. That's awesome. Well, people said, what, the one before this, Guardian Angel, is really good? Yeah. Because I feel like people mostly only talk about The Secret with Julie Garwood. Yeah. But I feel like this series that one is, is good. Still. Well, I've heard also really good things about like the bride and stuff. Um, you haven't read that one? No, it was good. But like uh, before I read oh, it, oh, yeah. Heard, when people like, talk about it. Yeah, yeah. 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 We are both on our pink today, though. We, we had, had to match, match the pink book. <laughs> we should do that every time now. Match the colors. Well, so I know. Oh, the next one's pink, too. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Her covers are all so pretty, though. Like, how did she get all this embossing? on it i know like her the bride yeah. cover is all like pretty and like guardian angel mm -hmm. yep well even the ones with just like that ribbon detail like for the castles cover i'm thinking of like even that's like yeah. embossed in a big gold like castle on it yeah so pretty because who was she published by uh, is that saint martin's not like oh is it pocket oh simon and schuster's pocket books oh okay okay yeah, because I was like, this isn't Avon stuff. No. Okay. Hmm. I wonder how much they had to, like, fight over their, like, big historical romance authors. Because I feel like Avon had right. so many. Mm-hmm. The Secret is so good. Oh, okay. So out of what you read, what's your favorite from Julie Garwood? Ooh, that's tough. So The Secret and the Bride, I love. They're, like, neck and neck for me. But this one's kind of up there, too. Like, I really liked this one. So, I don't know. Those are my top three. <laughs> and I can't pick. <laughs> this is so true, though. This is funny. Because um, <laughs> Ransom has the ugly new cover. And there was no cute original one. It's just the ugly new one. And it even and has that, like, like yep, page. yep. And it's like the driveway up to the house. You're just like. I know. Yeah. I still think, well, The Secret, I think, was my first one by her. And that was just, like, height of my 
historical romance obsession yep. Yep. and it was just so good the bride is so good too though so because the bride has such a good like alcohol hero and like the whole mm-hmm. setup like i just like she shows up in a black wedding dress like iconic <laughs> but then this one was fun for like at sea and just like goofiness you know yeah i mean the heroine, it, it like trying her like, hardest yes a lot of antics on the boat like that wouldn't happen anywhere yes. else so yeah oh and the fact that he was seasick <laughs> <laughs> like you're a fire and you get seasick. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, I don't think I've read the prize. I haven't either, but I have that one. I think I own most of hers. Oh, somebody told me the other day, actually, I think on my post for this, that they said um, Saving Grace is really good from her, too. And I was like, oh, I do have that one. I read that one. Oh, did you not like it? They gave it three stars. Oh, dang. Okay. I don't remember it. Okay. (laughs) The prize. Um, Is that a medieval one or like a... It's Scottish. Oh, okay. Ooh. William the Conqueror era. Okay, so this is definitely medieval. Oh, I might have to read that one. I'm going to do like a medieval um, reading vlog with like Kingdom of Dreams. Oh, and so maybe the that. prize now because I was like running out of ideas. <laughs> Let me write that down. Oh, I haven't read The Wedding either. The Wedding was okay. Yeah. Oh, that mm-hmm. was cool. The gold to read more Joanna Lindsay. Yeah, so many of her books. I need to get through her backlist. Oh, Honor Splendor is your favorite. So many different favorites in here. I'm liking this. She's just such a classic author, though. It's like rare to have a miss from her. Right. <clears throat> yeah, it's a lot of people that like it. But I am excited for reading Megan McKinney because you read Lines and Lace, right? Yes, I loved it. It was one of my favorites last year. It was so good. Yeah. I read the second book in that series too, and it was okay, but I liked the first one so much more. Okay. Because it was set in America. Oh, okay. But this one is long. Oh my god, very long, almost five hundred pages. Well, we chose like a seven hundred page book for Ravaged by Romance next month, and now we're reading a four hundred and seventy page <laughs> romance. It's fine. <laughs> Who was in charge of all of this? <laughs> I chose. I didn't think. So my sister had that. We're reading the Book of Azrael for. And I saw that. My sister got it for Christmas, a physical book, and it looks normal. So I was like, yeah, let's read it. No, it's like 700 pages. It doesn't look 700 pages. I'm excited you guys picked that one because I already had it on my like fantasy romance like TBR for next month. I've been needing to get to it forever. I'm like, that will even help me get to it more. (laughs) They usually have hers at used bookstores. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Which the other one was for your Patreon, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking it was for Historical Hellions, and I was like, wait a minute, why did I read that? <laughs> we read one, yeah. I mean, that was just such good. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, my God, what is the time period called? Gilded Age? Gilded Age, yes. I was like, it's something yeah. for America. Yeah, Gilded Age. Yeah. It's indie published, the one that she has, so I don't know, but... Mm. yeah not super cute and fun <laughs> <laughs> this uh, one sounds like i like is there fantasy involved with this like what's going on like she has a golden lizard bearing a strange rhyme oh there's like a legendary emerald that they're trying to get yeah so i'm intrigued by this one unless it's just like jewels and stuff but i was reading it as like fantasy 
I don't think it's it's fantasy. Yeah, it's probably not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no fantasy. Yeah, my mind was just going to magical things. This came out in 1991, too. Oh, really? This one looks so old. Ninety one. She looks so young on the back of this. Yeah, Ruth Goodman. Is that her um, real name? That's who it's the copyrights for. Oh, is it? The names, too? Yeah. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, I was looking at the published date, and it's 1991 by Ruth Goodman. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we wanted to try more authors that um, we haven't had tried yet. Yeah. Okay. Let me see how old she is. Where she was. Oh, she was born in 1961, so she was 30 when this one came out. Um, Ruth Leslie Goodman is an American writer of romance novels. She uses the pen name Megan McKinney. She was a zookeeper? What? What are you looking at? Oh, the back. <laughs> like her little author bio? Yeah, yeah it says that she, she studied biology at yeah. Columbia. Oh. Huh. Very interesting. Which I saw this oh. one, the audio is on hoopla she's the one who pled guilty yeah. to fraud yeah no. that's a, yeah i didn't remember that was her yeah it is oh uh, what is fema wasn't that this is that the thing she got arrested for she defrauded federal emergency yeah, management wasn't, agency during katrina yeah wasn't it after yeah hurricane katrina i remember like, um joanna um, Shoup was talking about that on your live with her I was like, I remember someone talking about an author who is in jail for fraud. She's not in jail anymore. Yeah. She served three years, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's not good stuff. Oh man, <laughs> I wonder how late. Oh, I do you have. Know. I don't know. I do have some Iris Johansson ones on my shelf. Like her step backs are really pretty. Hmm. Yeah. I do like, I mean, she spells it also like M E A G A N. Mm -hmm. The normal way to spell Megan. Yeah. I do like it though. Megan McKinney. Mm hmm. Same. Well, is Julie Garwood's name her real name? Ooh, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it sounds like a normal name. Julie Garwood. So many of them. Well, maybe like Ruth, how, what was it Ruth Goodwin? What was her name? Goodman. Goodman was too close mm -hmm. to Garwood. And maybe people mm -hmm. would get too close. I don't know. Yeah. I wonder if she used the other one to write other genres, kind of like how Amanda Quick did with Jane yeah. Prince and stuff like that. What is a Dell monkey? publishing under Bantam? I wish they still did this though, where they're like, tear this out in your book and order your book. Yeah. For $3.95. Yeah. If only. I know this now are like $10 or something. Which is ridiculous. Which I saw, saw um, did you see like during the like Barnes and Noble sale thingy, like the Joanna Shoup's new one that's coming out at the end of the year? It's going to be, it must be in trade because it's going to be like eighteen ninety nine. Yeah. Why is yeah. Joanna Shoup going to be a trade paperback? They didn't really know, man. Huh? Is there a cover for it? No, no, okay. not yet. So I'm like, I. If it's an illustrated cover. Yeah, because I'm like, how are they going to do a clinch like on a trade? Yeah. They're going to do what they did with Stan Enoch's yeah. book, where hers. Mm. Okay. Yeah. 
a ton of her audios are on Hoopla. So I saw it on there. I think it's on Libby too. Any play you can't speed up though, can you? Yeah, I don't think so. I've never done any play. Okay. This makes me so mad because like mass market used to be like the book, like the yeah. size. Yeah. But well, I know apparently like Barnes and Noble is switching over a lot of their stores to that they don't even carry mass market anymore. But why? Their new like CEO guy or whatever, apparently he doesn't like it or says that they don't sell well and he's trying to like copy I feel like he said like British bookstores and stuff, how they do I mean they don't have I mean, mass markets. So Yeah. So he's trying to do that model and then be like, Well, they don't sell. Like you don't have them. How are they gonna sell? That's what made me so mad about Barnes and Noble because it was I think like last year I was looking for the new Lorraine Heath in store. They did not have it, a single copy. And they're like, well, it just depends mm -hmm. on what we're sent. I was like, it's a brand new book. And the biggest bookstore in the United States does not have this new release. No wonder it's not selling. Mm -hmm. oh my God. I know. And so now they're also going to be yeah. more expensive. Yep. Yeah. And it didn't have a mass market size at all. It just was like ebook and audio and that trade size. For Joanna Shoops, at least. What are these covers gonna look like? I know. Yep. This too, though, because I do not see publishers marketing historical romances at all. Like you see how Same. much they send out copies of all their big authors, or even their not big authors that they're trying to push. And I was like, I barely see you sending out any early copies of any like PR for historical romance. Yeah. Well, same like the marketing they do for them online, like they're pushing their contemporaries, like they're not yeah. showcasing like historicals before the release date or anything. Well, and they're not public, even publishing them, which is yeah. sad. That too, not. yeah. I mean, I'd rather spend $10 mm -hmm. on Joanna Shoup's new one than 18. I know. Ooh. She does have some fun looking books. Mm -hmm. Red, When Angels Fall, No Choice yeah. to Render. Oh, yeah, this one on the front talks about my wicked enchantress. And it takes place in 1818. Yeah. And it says they're going to Jamaica, which makes me a little nervous. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah, okay. we'll see. Yeah, I know. Yep. Oh, are they? Same. Whenever I go to like used bookstores and they still have their old sticker on it, I was like, ugh. Yep. Their stickers like still come off so clean and nice. Like they're so perfect. <laughs> uh, oh, like rip the borders. But it does, it's, I don't know if they got like a new CEO, but for Barnes and Noble, they really like rebranded. And I don't. They did, like, yeah. Like, they did? Yeah. Like I don't know when, but he's newer. Yeah. Because it just feels very like sleek now as opposed to just like cozy bookstore. And now it's like. Yeah. Well, because their model now is like also less books on this on the storefront too. Like they'd rather have like they're moving a lot of locations are moving to smaller stores because they feel like they don't want to have like a bunch of books, which is like why are people coming to a bookstore if not to see a bunch of books? I hate that. But I also feel yeah. like a lot of times they market not to what readers want. They want like they want to appeal to like non readers. Yeah. Which is what romance is doing too, which is annoying. <laughs> I'm just going to think all of her books are fantasies now. <laughs> I have Ooh. these, but no. I, if there's a pirate on the cover, I will buy it, and I probably have not read it. <laughs> hmm. Yes. Oh, okay, yeah. He was doing, yep. They don't. That's why he was doing that, yeah. Oh, worked on the merger. Okay. <laughs> Come on, I don't even know what your job is. What do you do? <sighs> you worked on the merger of them isn't that bad though if like the same people own like everything <laughs> like if waterstones people I mean, own now 
Yeah. But it was sad that Target got rid of mass markets. I hate that. Because, like, yeah. where do people buy books? They always buy them. Target, Walmart, Barnes & Noble. Yeah. I don't think I ever had I a Walmart. I think I do. Mm-mm. Mm. That sounds like a nice. really big deal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's cool though that you yeah. got to see what happened. Mm-hmm. Like, isn't that what it is though? Like, is that legal? Like, you can't own every. I guess it's two things, but like the biggest. <laughs> yeah. Like and they're like in different countries, I guess. Because yeah. But yeah. Oh, I do love Connie Mason. So Connie Masons are fun. Yeah. <laughs> nope. B. Dalton books. I've heard of B. Dalton books, but I don't remember them. I've just heard that name. No. <laughs> I feel like I've heard of Walden books, but I don't know. No. I do like yeah. that more indie bookshops are popping up, but I feel like there's more romance ones, which is exciting. There are. I remember when there was like one or two, and now there's. It was like the Bodice and Love Sweet Arrow, and like that was. Yes, it. yeah. But yeah. This is true, though, because I feel like they still have some fantasies that. Well, I feel like they'll come out with like the normal hardback and paperback, and then after they do mass market, because they've mm-hmm. done that. Like, didn't they do that for the Kiss Quotient? I feel like there's yes mass mm-hmm. market out there, mm-hmm. and some of Christina Lawrence. Mm-hmm. I feel like I've seen mass markets too. But well, like they actually did it for Amelie Howard's, like her, and um, the other one that Lady for a Duke, the Alexis Hall one. Oh, really? Both of those were trade, and then they have mass market ones too, which came out like two years later. Which I don't know if that's the same tactic as like do the hardback first and then come out with the paperback. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, do the more expensive one first and yeah. then you will release it cheaper. Right. But. Yeah. Oh, man. Those are a lot. That is. Well, Emporium sounds really fun. I know. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> so. MDN. I don't. <laughs> and my Walmart's like awful for books. They're never stocked there and it looks awful. Yeah. Yeah. That's super nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, they don't care. With well, like even our- like bookstores too. Like one of my used bookstores, they won't take in hardcovers if they're past two years of being published, as well as if they've come out in trade or mass market. They won't take them in or sell them at their store. And I'm like, some people collect things like <laughs> Where can I go then for these? Yeah. That's weird. Mm-hmm. That's very weird. Um, but I also hate it when it's like in the series because now when they went to that weird mass max size, like book one is mass market, books two and three are mass max, and now book four is ma- yeah. back to mass market. I hate that so much on my shelf. Like, like it drives I me would crazy. Honestly take the mass max size over trade. Me too. They were so floppy. Yeah, that's true too. I was like, I mean, I kind of <laughs> liked it, but not that it didn't match and not mm-hmm. that it didn't like, fit well on the shelves, but yeah, yeah. it yeah. definitely was easier to read. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and now there's a ton of special editions through Barnes & Noble. Well, I think publishing in general, they're doing what did so well for Fourth Wing, where a lot of them are doing, mm. like, first print run sprayed edges just right. for the release. So. Yeah. And even, like, Bloom has been doing that for their spines, where they're, like, special spines for the first print run. Oh, true. hmm Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about Lorraine Heath's. Yeah, I think her, I was trying to think, I thought I saw she had a picture of them, and I think they're still mass market, her third one in the series. Yeah. Which is next month. But the Joanna Shoup that at the end of this year is going to be trade, from the price at least, and the size of the book. 
oh, this was like their last ditch effort to save the size. Yeah, I remember they said that when it was changing over to that. Mm-hmm. But they only gave it like, I feel like six months or a year and then they were moving on. Yeah. <laughs> like, is that enough time to notice a change? Right. I don't know. I mean, maybe they should reevaluate those covers they were coming out with that looked like those Bridgerton covers that none of us wanted. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Because so many author, historical authors have said that even with the Bridgerton hype, like it didn't help the sales for their yeah. own books. So I don't know why they're trying to copy the covers of theirs. This one is <laughs> because like, tell me how they could afford to do these gorgeous <laughs> covers with all this embossing for like every release at the price they did. And we can't even do that today at the price those books are at now with anything like nothing's pretty anymore. I know. I have not read Candace camp. Neither have I. Oh, I have two yeah. within 15 minutes of me. So <laughs> I'm very lucky. Mine's like an hour away as well. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's bigger than this for sure. So this is a trade and this yeah. is mess. Yeah. So quite the difference. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. I think for the Lorraine and Joanna Shoup. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh my God! Yes, to step back. Um, uh, Anna Huang's book. Yes, is be step back from Target. Oh my God! Wow. I'm so excited. Is it going to be in color or black and white? Oh, I have no idea. So it'll be interesting. I was trying to think to if the graphic said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." Because um, I feel like Katie Robert did some of those with her, yes. one of her series, but they were black and white. And more indie authors are putting art in their books, which I think is cool, especially the fantasy ones. But her mm -hmm. Walmart one had for King of Greed had full color illustration oh that's right mm -hmm. hmm. this is true too where they don't like, oh, like print on demand oh wait what i was thinking like like oh that people buy them romantic covers they were like censoring yes, them yes. yeah okay, so yeah, i think yeah. that's part of it the flowers need to stop if it doesn't make sense for the book, like why why are we slapping flowers on there, you know? In the beginning it was pretty, but now not every book is flowery. I would say I prefer illustrated over the headless people. Same, but like a specific illustrated. <laughs> yes. Some illustrated like I do like. But Me some too. I don't. So yeah. Hmm. yeah. True, true. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah clinch for sure but if i had to choose only like the headless torsos or illustrated i would go illustrated yeah <sighs> yeah it's hard to be a romance reader these days mm -hmm. um but we are at an hour we oh, yeah. are a little bit of a tangent there with the <laughs> <laughs> our ranting of the genre but um we we're very excited for till dawn tames the night we should have our live show on samantha's channel this time because i think chrissy we did yours last time yeah yeah look at the oh, pretty i'm just obsessed you, you have it, right? <laughs> yeah yeah okay yeah um, that's like a shiny cover <laughs> we'll be doing at the end of february so keep your eye on our instagram mm -hmm. for that um we'll have to chat and yeah Thank you for joining us and chatting. And yes. a good one. I feel like majority says this was decent. Yeah. So I, I know. Yeah. Just, so <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Bye.